right guys well this is episode one of uh urban exploration so we're starting over here at west end uh metro station right now and we're gonna make our way over to michael's over by buckhead so come with me and we will uh take a ride here for a little bit it's an hour ride yeah so i tried to do this uh this video before i'm probably gonna split this into uh two parts uh because the last well i went an hour out to best buy and it it was a lot of footage to cut down so this will probably be a two part because it's gonna be an hour up to michael's and then an hour back so we'll see how it goes it was nice uh whoa it was nice uh, getting that first recording out uh, though because I saw a lot of things that um, to work on you know it was kind of a rough a rough video one of which is uh, the camera angle so I don't know at this point if it has that angle to it where it's like kind of slanted so we'll see about that worst case scenario what I'm trying to get is a uh, GoPro mount for my backpack because I always carry my backpack with me so I'll probably uh, have that attached and it'll probably look a lot more even but other than that and then just staying uh focused because there's just like so many things i wanted to show you guys around here but i got to kind of keep it to a minimum you know have an objective i guess and today's objective is to go to michael's to go get um some supplies for school to finish up uh one of my projects but the gist of these uh videos is just going to be uh explorational just to you know see the city of atlanta you know from a very cool perspective of a one wheel rider <laughs> i don't know if i can get some good shots of me riding it just seems like i'm floating from what i was looking at from the footage before when i tried doing this i also got to realize that uh the gopro will die about an hour and 40 minutes in that's that's about the time i'm working with so i gotta mitigate any uh any lollygagging i guess but still that's plenty of time you know i'm gonna try to keep these videos within like 30 minutes or so roughly i got the camera a little bit higher this time so hopefully it's a little bit more centered we'll see it's a beautiful day out i think it's like 78 degrees right now barely feel the sun oh 77 degrees wow almost so what you're gonna notice a lot on these rides is that there's not a lot of uh, sidewalk I think that's one of the biggest issues of uh, Atlanta at least from a pedestrian uh, point of view is that the sidewalks are not and when they are there they're not so good like this <laughs> It just cuts off it doesn't make sense but um a lot of the trails are really kept up though um from what i've uh, been on and i've been on a lot of trails here so far and they are all pretty well paved pretty well kept still a little dirty some of them but i mean you can't can't stop humans from doing human things right but other than that the the sidewalks are amazing so it's always good for the feet always good for the ankles like this isn't good all this keeps you awake that's for sure keeps you uh alert i've uh i've been at points where i wasn't paying attention and uh i've dropped down on the uh edge of a uh slab of concrete and it just rattled me off my board and i hit my ass it wasn't fun i want to know who did this who smashed that little section of the sidewalk that's what i want to know make ourselves across the bike lane since we're kind of strapped for time, we're gonna keep on the same trail. We're not gonna deviate too much from the main trail. So just to keep everything on schedule. The next ride that I do, we'll do some little exploration. We'll start, I don't know where we'll start. I'll figure it out, but we'll get ourselves a route. What would be cool is I know they're re they're building the last three miles of the, uh, the Silver Comet Trail. So we'll take that and um, it connects into the belt lines of Atlanta, which are the main walking and biking trails in Atlanta. So once that's hooked up, then we can go 68 miles all the way to Alabama if we follow that trail all the way through. And that would be a, that'd be a cool, cool little trip to do. I mean, probably take about 
through and through going there and back would take about four days i would say possibly four days you know some camping right now we're crossing over the main railroad track you can see atlanta a portion of the the outskirts of the city we're gonna go all the way past that big uh that big uh empire state building looking building over there kind of like a gothic version of it should be good to make this light Yeah, I don't really like riding on that sidewalk. It's not the most savory. Biggest thing to worry about is broken glass. I've had a nail push through this tire before and um, it actually wasn't that bad of a situation. It, it's got this uh, goop in there that helps um, kind of seal it, I guess. Let me know also how you guys like this format if you uh, enjoy uh the very long recordings of just i guess unedited versions of this because i can post both the raw and the edited quick little bits i prefer both whenever i'm looking for these types of videos i always love watching the long long drawn out ones get to see very every aspect of uh the city i guess you know I feel like in part it's a it's a good uh, sacrifice well not sacrifice it's a good um, thing to do for people that will never come to this state or ever think of coming to this state and want to see it still <laughs> that's rough <laughs> all right cutting through here I'm gonna jump up on the curb actually Cut through another metro station. It's the Five Points metro station over here. Doing some kind of filming over here. Big, huge movie set, looks like. Movie or video, I don't know. That's Atlanta for you. Main reason why I'm here. Wow. Really a large set. That was cool. Interesting to see what that's all about. Taking a left up here. We'll be passing Georgia State here in a second on our right. Some cool wall art. I haven't been on this side of the road, so that's interesting. We're both exploring something we've never explored before. Woo! It's also funny i tried to record this last time and uh the one wheel died as well as the gopro so and it was cool like that's not the funny part the funny part was um i had made a joke earlier that we'll just go to a starbucks i carry my uh chargers with and there wasn't a single it was on a sunday so every single starbucks was closed at like four or three in the afternoon so i had nowhere to charge so i had to stop at this diner and go charge up there so it was a it was a great time i was down to like two percent when i finally got to that diner i was getting desperate i was i was about to make the uh uber call and have to pay to play sadly but we got it we figured it out just don't go out on sunday and if you do go out with a plan that's a cool little trail that i like to go on it's relatively safe i mean it's got this uh barrier that keeps us from the car so feel a little confident going on here no one wants to mess their tire up but we're basically going through uh, a portion of the downtown area to the left of us is the main street though that's where all the people are walking so we'll probably trail down that another time but this is for all the uh as you just saw a biker and a scooter also i forgot to mention that we're gonna make a tally for every other one wheel we see so keep your eyes open you know the last ride i did uh saw like three of them honestly two back to back it was crazy they're becoming a lot more prevalent i guess which is fine by me because uh they're some of the coolest things people are pretty uh baffled when they see these they just don't understand they're just <laughs> they're very confused at what they're looking at and then the next question they ask is did you build it and i thought we would get a get rid of that whole uh thing when we got the gts because they look a little bit more together like it's a real product that was made by a real company 
Um, the XR, which I used to ride, kind of looks a little bit more like put together by like someone, you know? It looks a little, it's got the wood and everything. I guess it's the wood aspect that makes it look kind of self-made, I guess. <laughs> because <laughs> companies can't afford wood, I guess. I don't know. I don't get it. I always take the compliment for one second and then tell them no. <laughs> no, I did not create this. Had I, I would be riding around in probably something a little bit better. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But no, I mean, this is my only way of transportation, really. This and my bicycle, but that's about it. And honestly, with that whole lifestyle, it kind of helps facilitate what you need, you know? Like, especially when you go to the grocery store. I have to make sure I stay within a certain weight limit, you know? You can't be too heavy or you'll be putting too much weight on the one wheel. Plus, you have a backpack, so you only have limited space. So you gotta get what you need, not what you want. So it kinda helps with that aspect too, you know? Plus, it makes you really appreciate when you do have a car. <laughs> As far as Atlanta drivers versus pedestrians, uh, the drivers really don't care. <laughs> I've had some near misses and I've had friends who've been hit by cars over here. Very cool building. You always gotta have some level of, uh, you know, just observation, I guess. All right, we're at 5.9 miles left. We're getting there. We're at 36 minutes left too. So we're about halfway there. Yeah, we're sitting at about 84%. 3.4 miles right now and yeah you did see <laughs> my uh the life of this uh one wheel it's at 1500 i've uh i've ridden this uh a very long time <laughs> i don't really remember when i got this one i know i ordered it in october of last year i think i got it in the spring time because i know there's a lot of delays but Ever since I got it, I started riding the heck out of it. But I think I got my uh, XR up to 1,300 before I sold it. And that was, that was the one I hit the top speed of uh, 28. I should have saved a photo of that. And that's when it went kaput on me and nosedived. I went flying off of it. That was day one of riding the one wheel. My introduction, but after... Thank you. After which, uh, I just got... <laughs> I wrapped myself up in bandages and just got back after it i mean this is honestly my first board sport so i figured that that stuff happens so i was like well it was going to happen at some point and it never stopped happening <laughs> that's the fun part but i feel like each fall that you take you know you learn a lesson you learn something i mean all the marks that you'll see on my board are lessons and you know little things to remember and then you just get better so after crossing that uh highway which was uh highway 85 um we are now in midtown so we're gonna be cutting all the way through midtown i'm hoping it's not a lot of people because normally there's a lot of people over here in midtown on the sidewalk and i don't really trust going on the roads over here there's some people that brave it but i've seen some wild stuff over at midtown so i'm good i'd rather take my time and slowly manipulate around people let's check out midtown so what you're gonna see first up here on the left is the fox theater was originally gonna get destroyed i heard and then somebody i guess funded it and it's all good now a lot of good uh concerts concert venue there ah the sticks cool those are really cool. Like those vines. Doesn't look like a lot of people are down this way, so that's good. We're gonna hit the uh, vortex on our left too. It's this, uh, I guess, Atlanta staple restaurant place. I've been there only once. Wasn't anything to write home about, but I mean, it was still good. But nah, it was cool. Cool atmosphere. It's got a lot of decorations and stuff. Really cool. Loud. So if you want to talk to your friends, a little rough. A lot of stuff being built. The city is just exploding. I mean, I've only been here for about two years now, so... Coming up on your left. Coming up on your left, ma'am. Oh, you're good, you're good. Thank you. Rule of thumb when it comes to riding on sidewalks is just don't be an asshole. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Blix, really cool art store. hardest part is negotiating people who have headphones in that's the that's the real trick but again just take your time be patient your opening will happen that was the uh, glorious 
Midtown. And that dude just cut that guy off. That's crazy. Passing the uh, Federal Reserve now. Get a good shot of that. Kind of cool. It's got cool marble uh, pylons. So that's really cool. Now we're coming up on the part that I like to call the business lunch area. It's like a smashing part of like uh, all the businesses and then a bunch of restaurants and stuff. So if I owned a business over here, this would be my business lunch area. But we are going to be cutting right and heading into the park, Piedmont Park. So let's go over here. Sort of. Yeah, they're building something brand new right there. Probably cut into the straight right over here on this curb. Really cool uh, coffee shop over there to the right of us. Right there, you'll see the entrance to the park. Now, I think this is basically equivalent to Central Park. I mean, basically in the center of the city. It's got a lake. It's got really, like you can sit in it and look around and not see any buildings, just forest. So it's a nice little getaway. <laughs> All right, we are in the park officially. I'm guessing that this is all for the giant rock event i think they're doing some kind of rock concert over here i don't know if it's free or not but we could definitely come check it out a lot of porta johns a lot of money a lot of facilities Ooh, gotta bump this Ooh, there we go yeah cool college photos i like coming to this park it's pretty cool pretty big one it has the connector to uh, the belt line one of the more popular belt lines of atlanta so we'll take that one at some point we also have the botanical garden over here too which is a real cool time i haven't been yet but i've been to other botanical gardens and i imagine it's pretty cool cutting up and through Never been down this route. Oh, I see it. Okay. Come walk with me. We'll stop riding for a little bit. This thing weighs like 35 pounds, so it's always a pain to walk with. Because it's just this awkward, uneven machine. And the side handle broke on it, so I gotta hold it from its top end. I think I've actually been on this part of the trail. I've just never been on those stairs. There we go. Had a false start there for a second. I always hate it when it gives me those yellow blinking lights. Only had it once and that was when my motor got one out. Had to take it in. Pay $700 to get a new motor. Oh yeah, the boardwalk's closed. I think this is over where when I was riding back, I was watching people like walking in the forest on these like catwalk type things. Looks super cool. Oh my. Yeah, like this path right here, super nice. Feels good, it doesn't even feel like I'm riding on anything right now. It's like cloud, good for the feet, because I've been on some gnarly ones and been on dirt trails and it's just terrible on your feet. You need uh, some real good comfort in your shoes. But before I got these uh, running shoes that have really good track, um, I was uh, using Haydu to ride with, so that wasn't fun. Oh, this is a really cool forest area. Whop, and we're in. I thought that dude ate it. Heard that noise.
wooden bridge. All right. We're gonna get on Monroe. We've got 19 minutes and three miles left at this point. Probably film up to getting into my, or Michael's searching around because at that point, I think my battery will be spent. I'll see if I can record all the way back because we're pretty much a little bit farther up and we're parallel with it to our left. See if I can film all the way up to SCAD and then charge up. But I mean, this one wheel can get up to 22 miles. So I mean, we come over here. We pretty much took this, uh, this exact same path, which is funny. It's pretty much the exact amount of time and path. Just cruising around parking lot because uh, that sidewalk over there is actually pretty gnarly. Cut across. We'll go up over where that Bank of America is, that sign. That's where, we were. That's where we're headed. All right. This trail wasn't too bad over here, this bike trail on the road. Um, I didn't mind it. It wasn't too harsh or dangerous. Whoa, that was cool. Guess, uh, guess another aspect to having the camera is that if I do get run over, you guys can see it. And uh, I'll have a little bit of documentation for whenever uh, I go to court and he sues me for denting his car. All right, here we go. On to the bike lane. These bike lanes are okay. They're not too bad. Visible walls in all of this the whole makeup of a street is just a bunch of invisible walls you know and the only thing that's holding you from breaking through those invisible walls is invisible laws so i don't mind morality i guess plays a part in there you don't want to really kill anyone nor do you want to dent your car so i feel safe i feel like i'm doing pretty good all right we're gonna pop out here on piedmont avenue and this wind is going to fight us wow those chicken wings do smell good. Tonight, what am I making tonight actually? Making, oh yeah, I'm making burgers. I don't know if I'll record this one. I know I got the request to make a steak. So that might be a weekend thing. I might might make a steak. You guys can judge me on my steak abilities. I mean, I guess that would be the, uh, the quintessential. That's the way to find out if someone's a real good cook is if they can cook their steak well. Well, not well, but medium rare, but you know what I meant. And if you're wondering why I'm not recording on my bicycle, well, I don't want you just to be hearing me suck air the whole entire time because that's all it would be. It would just be me breathing. So <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to conform sentences or anything like that. So just gonna stick to the one wheel. It's kind of meditating to, uh, to do this too uh, because like you just have to negotiate every single aspect of your trip to make sure that you're not running out of battery that you're staying fed and hydrated that you're not being attacked by a car you got to negotiate these like shitty walkways and stuff so it's it's meditating in a way and stressful like this is really nice i don't mind this It's like a thin layer of dust in the sky. Looks like or smog or smoke, something. If we're on the west coast, definitely smoke. If we're even further west coast, definitely smog. Whoa. Whoa. All right, someone really wanted Wendy's. Really hope that guy didn't think he was gonna sneak around the line or sneak around this traffic. Like we haven't hit many red lights. So that's really cool. It's good and bad. I normally take those opportunities to rest the feet and uh, wiggle them a little bit, get some blood back in them. But so far my feet are doing pretty good. I mean, ah, glass. Really, I mean, who just breaks a bottle on the sidewalk? Don't they walk on that, on that sidewalk too? <laughs> that's crazy. So we just, uh, that was uh, 75 and here's the metro landing area. So all the metro trains just kind of chill and they reverse. I think this is where they they double back. I'm not too sure. I am getting a little parched, I won't lie. It's one thing I always forget to bring is some water. And water is never free. Normally don't like uh, negotiating jumps like that. 
on busy traffic, but here we are. <laughs> wow, is it literally in the same area as that Best Buy? I'm gonna laugh if it is. Because I even checked, to, well, I didn't really check, I just looked around at like the stores around it, didn't type in Best Buy, but I didn't know it was pretty much like right next to it. That's crazy. That is a very long light, but this is a very busy street, so. This is a cool little path. Oh, chasing birds. That's cool. All seeing eye. We are five minutes and 0.8 miles away from our objective. We're almost there. <laughs> 